Hello. Um, so this is my second video and progress on this thing is slow as molasses. Um, just, you know, life. And cause we're all working adults. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I've been, I've still had the project at the back of my mind, haven't had the time to make a lot of progress. Um, you know, like I said, due to work and personal things, um, and, but yay, I have a job, a full-time job, um, and my other writer is in the middle of moving, and he just got a full-time job, and the schedule's all over the place, so he told me after he's done moving sometime in the next month, um, he can get back to writing. So, anyways, I thought I would just make a video and, yeah, um, so one of the things I wanted to go over was writing when you've never written a script before is quite a challenge. <laughs> Um, I'm not in the habit of writing too regularly. I mean, once in a while I'll do like a journal thing or something, uh, and I read, I read, and I love reading, and when I do it, I like writing, um, but I've never done anything like this project before, so it's a pretty steep learning curve. <laughs> um... But it's fun. It's fun. I like learning new things. Um, but yeah, so just reminding myself that this is a process. I am a beginner and it is okay if it takes longer than I initially wanted. Um, and the other thing I wanted to do was recommend two of my favorite urban fantasy reads because essentially I'm creating this story, this podcast, because it's urban fantasy is one of my all-time favorite uh, genres? Settings? I mean, it's a setting, but it's a very specific type of setting, and I don't know, to me it's a genre, but um, obviously I'm not an English major. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, and, and this is something I've been interested in, I think, most of my life. There's just something really fascinating about taking, you know, these fantastical elements and bringing them into a very recognizable everyday setting. Like, hey, you know, there's a werewolf hanging out at the bookstore, um, kind of a thing. Uh, that's a reference, if you get it. I love you. Um, anyways, so I'm rambling. I didn't really plan this out too well. So one of my favorite ever urban fantasy books or series, not really sure to call it, is the Border Town books. Um, originally uh, created by Terry Windley was the incredible um, editor and uh, creator of Border Town itself, and she got together with a bunch of different, you know, really fantastic um, authors and had them all write out little short stories and pieces um, based around this. Uh, the city that she had, you know, kind of set out some guidelines for, um, and magic, magical elements are just this, like, everyday thing, and, um, and yeah, anyways, so I recommend that. The one I have on me right now, because the older ones are a little difficult to get a hold of, they're out of print, um, and, uh, I'm trying not to buy books and physical copies anymore because I just I move a lot and I don't have the space um, 
and so I would try and get digital copies. Unfortunately, these the original Border Town um, uh, anthologies came out like 20, 30 years ago, uh, and they are no longer in print, um, which which means they weren't popular enough to eventually be made into digital versions. Um, but yeah, so if you're lucky, you find a copy of those. If not, there are two, I think it's the two newest collections that are quite a bit easier to get your hands on. Um, one of them being uh, the, the last one that was ever created, which was actually, um, oh my goodness. Uh, Holly Black ended up being one of the editors, and if you've read any of her works, uh, especially Modern Fairy, I love um, that. Speaking of urban fantasy, um, her Modern Fairy series is a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun for me, um, uh, as someone who really adores this genre. And, um, but anyways, so I was really excited when, uh, they finally made another Border Town book, and um, and her name was attached to it, and I was like, okay, this is gonna be good, and it is, it is. It is the only one I own, sadly, um, and, but yeah, and actually the, the other guy working on this project with me, primarily my, my writer, my other writer, um, he's brand new to urban fantasy, which how <laughs> okay um anyways yeah i know um and so he has that right now i told him read it this is your homework essentially um you need to get familiar with with this uh good news he loves it <laughs> he's hooked on it um so that's great because it means that he got really like way excited about this project um not that he wasn't already but you know like now that he actually knows what I'm talking about whenever I say urban fantasy, like, he's like, oh yeah, this is so cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, so he has Welcome to Border Town is the name of that one. Um, and that was the newest one. And from what I can tell, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, that, uh, if that was popular enough, if that had sold enough, um, they were going to, I think, either continue or uh, they were going to go back and reprint or create digital versions of the um, the previous books. Uh, it wasn't. I don't know if this is just that much of a niche thing, but it seems like there's enough people out there who enjoy it. Um, you know, or it just it just didn't do well, um, unfortunately. But yeah, so that one you can find it on Amazon. You can buy a brand new copy. Um, I believe this is the one I have here is the next newest one, like the one that came before that, uh, I don't even remember the year on this actually, um, quite a while ago. Um, this is 1998, was the second to last Border Town, uh, anthology, collecting anthology. Um, this was edited by Terry Windling and Delia Sherman. Delia Sherman is another fantastic, um, urban fantasy author. Um, and, yeah, and so this is The Essential Border Town. Um, I love this book. I checked this one out from my local library, uh, because I don't have a copy, although I believe this is, um, easier to find than any of the previous ones. Um... This is excellent because it's basically like a tourist guide <laughs> or a guidebook um, to this uh, this town and that they've created in all of the stories that came before, and it's it's and I got it as like a sort of reference and inspiration, um, you know, to help me get ideas, you know. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in things like world building, environment development, that sort of thing. Uh, this, I recommend this book as an excellent example of, um, how to do that. Uh, but yeah, so Border Town, any of the Border Towns. There are also, I believe, three standalone, I could have this wrong, um, three standalone novels by, um, authors, two different authors that were involved with, um, the original Border Town books. Um, one of them is one of my favorites. She doesn't put out 
a ton of uh, books, but the ones that she has, I mean, I just, I love all of them. Um, but anyways, her name is Emma Bull. Um, that's another book I don't have a copy of. Uh, and some people might know her for War for the Oaks is, I believe, her most popular book. Um, she did do a Border Town novel called Finder. Oh, I do have that one. Oh my goodness. Um, should have dragged that up. But anyways, uh, I do have a copy of Finder. It's, um, uh, that is a Border Town, or that is a novel set in Border Town, um, focusing on primarily one, you know, there's a central character, um, but yeah, you just get to explore Border Town from, like, that one character's kind of surroundings. Um, and then I believe it was Will Shutterly, um, who wrote two more standalone novels, um, set in Border Town, and those are both about, uh, Wolf Boy, um, I don't tell you any more than that because I want you to go read them. Anyway, <laughs> yes, there's a, there's there's a dude walking around like a wolf. Um, he's a wolf. Uh, wolf man, wolf man. There's a wolf man in Border Town. Um, there are also vampires. There are elves up at the wazoo. Uh, there are dance clubs and dive bars and a bookstore, and there's just there's all kinds. It's it's a fully to me a fully realized. Uh, world and it's it's beautiful um so check out border town or check out any of the standalone novels um and then the other book i know that was all for one book that i have uh, <laughs> the other one that i have on me today is um it actually a comic book series i only have the first one i've read more than that um but it's by bill willingham and it's fables and <laughs> this is another really fun series. Um, it's a little different in that the characters aren't necessarily original. It's got like Snow White um, and the Big Bad Wolf and Cinderella and Rose Red and um, oh my gosh, I'm totally drawing a blank right now. It's actually been a while since I've read Fables. Um, three little pigs anyways but it's it's all of these classic traditional uh fairy tale characters that have come to the new world and basically made their home here and um aka basically the united states um uh, at least where i've read to i haven't actually read that many of them because i haven't you know i was borrowing them from my local library at the time when i was reading them um but yeah, anyways, and they didn't they didn't have all of them. I hate reading things out of order. So that's another thing on my very long to finish reading list. Um but yeah, I really I was iffy because I have a soft spot for retellings um of, of classic uh stories and fairy tales and myths and things. Um and I was, I was wondering, you know, how's this going to go over? And it kind of starts out like, I mean, the very first one, the one I have here, is it, it's basically like a murder mystery is how it starts out. And um, initially I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know. And then, and then by the time I got to the end of it, and then I kept reading more of the issues, or volumes, I should say, um, I just got really into it because there's just, there's so many characters that they pull in. Um... And like I said, it's, it's, they're living in the modern world and they're trying to blend into society and it's, um, yeah, it's just really interesting and I, I really think they did a good job, uh, with this series. Um, but yeah, so, so that was a very long ramble on. Um, so two, two books or series, I should say, that I recommend if you're interested in urban fantasy and somehow you haven't uh, come across these yet, or you're new and you want to know what the heck I'm talking about, um, while I work on this podcast, there is Border Town, uh, originally edited by Terry Winling, and she's had various partners over the year help, years help her with it, um, and there is the Fables comic book series, so check both of these out, um, if you haven't, and 
I will hopefully get at least the first episode of this uh, this audio drama podcast that we're working on out. I think at this point my goal is going to be the end of the year. So by the end of December, maybe it will be Christmas present for everybody. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on that. Those are some of my strongest uh, influences, inspirations um, that really made me want to do this project. Um, because, you know, there's just, there's so many, these days there are so many really fantastic audio dramas out there and it's just this incredible thing. Um, and, but I'm, I've noticed that they tend to focus on, or most, a lot of them are, uh, like mystery, horror, sci-fi and nothing wrong with that. I'm, especially the sci-fi part, I love it. Um, and it's, they're a lot of fun. Um, but I haven't really seen anything that takes a different route that goes, you know, into more fantasy. Um, the one that I can think of currently, and maybe there's more and they're just, they haven't gained enough popularity and I haven't found them yet. Um, if you know of any, please let me know. Um, but the one that I currently listen to that has like more of magic, um, and fantasy in it is, uh, Hello from the Magic Tavern. <laughs> um, if you haven't listened to that and you're into um, laughing your head off and uh, are okay with a bit of crude humor or a lot of crude humor and sex jokes, um, check that out. It's it's a fantastic uh, podcast. Um, generally, I listen to podcasts at work. Uh, I don't listen to that one at work just because I will be laughing way too loud and disturb everyone else while they're, you know, trying to focus. Um, but yeah, so check that out. Hello from the Magic Tavern. And anyways, so, I mean, that's really the only one I can think of that's got that magic fantasy kind of uh, thing going on. And fantasy was like my first love in fiction. Um, and I'm like, no, there's got to be, I mean, like, audio dramas are awesome, and I love the mystery horror sci-fi, and, um, but, like, I want, I want there to be more, and I wasn't finding what I wanted to listen to, so, here we are. Anyways, um, this video has been 17 minutes, so I'm gonna end it now. Um, yeah, go check out those recommendations. Alright, bye.